Hi there! Today I don't review a bow. Um, indeed, uh, you may have seen the video of um, the griffin. And uh, the special of this griffin bow for me is um, that Rob has um, given it to me for, for free, more or less. And uh, I said I will create you a quiver. And um, the quiver is finished for a while indeed. And here we have the quiver. It's, uh, he wanted to have a Turkish style quiver and so I created one um, quite according to what we know. So with this um, pointy design here with this um, bottom um, with a few metal applications, these big buttons for example. This is uh, a separate pouch uh, where you can insert arrows as well. And uh, here I have prepared some kind of felt, um, made it to loops, so that the arrows are sitting quite well here. It can be removed completely, so for easy loading it can be removed and uh, then the arrows rattle, but uh, the way it is now the arrows do not rattle. Um, the ridging you see here is as we know it from uh, the historical uh, quivers. Here is my logo and this can be uh, changed, but I think um, the fitting is quite nicely. And when I have finished it, uh, let me look up my... Did I notice it when? Uh, it was... I think it was in February, if not mistaken. And um, Rob had uh, a nice idea. I said, ah, he wants to have a bow quiver too. And so he will create me a rider for this one, because I have sold my rider uh, last year. And um, so I need one. Uh, so that's the reason why we have also a bow quiver. Yeah, so I have already attached it here to the belt. The belt uh, is something specific as well, come to this in a bit. It's easy opening, so very easy. So I try to, to hold it that way that you can see it. So this is the bow quiver. Um, I have made it similar to the um, Turkish bow quiver design, although the Turkish bow quivers are closed in the bottom. And we decided to cut it, so you have here the open section. And uh, here the logo as well, we have a two ridging. And this is probably different than the original Turkish quivers, um, but you can just remove that one and then you have a one-point ridging, like this. Um, but since it's open, the, arrow, uh, the um, bow is not safe on the tip. And that's the reason why I thought hmm, two-point ridging might be better for the bow. And that's the reason why we have it. Can be uh, taken off completely, so no problem at all. And if you do not want to carry a bow quiver, you just take it off. And then you have it here separately. And um, the belt is now free on the side, so you can attach something different here. Whatever you want to carry around yeah, can be fixed here. And here this belt has a length of 60 centimeters, can be used for something else. And uh, this is also then available here. Yeah, this is the original set so far. The belt can be um, changed in length. So this is the shortest length. Can be elongated just in case Rob gets bigger. And uh, so that can be a lifetime belt. Yeah. And with the easy opening here, can be fast removed. Um, one word uh, for um, the colors. Um, the leather is tooling leather. And uh, tooling leather means that the leather is not uh, pressed by machines, but it's open for manual treatment. And that's the reason why I can um, emboss here the design. 
and the leather needs to be then sealed and in this case I have used the same sealing as for my shoes or for uh, my huge uh, tongue quiver, uh, it's tan coat, a uh, tan coat from Feebings and um, this is uh, a very nice coating. Um, the result of the surface looks very nice but it's not water resistant and I didn't know that before. I used it on my shoes and this was the recommendation so it's usable for shoes. So what happens if it's gotten wet uh, and you touch on it um, you may see traces. So if the quiver is getting wet don't touch it. Yeah, just place it somewhere, let it dry, if it's dry it's fine again. Yeah, so don't touch if it's wet. And uh, better uh, not use it in pouring rain but now yeah can happen, no? who knows. Uh, so that's the reason and uh, Rob, in case you have any questions regarding this, just contact me, no issue. Uh, what else? So these um, are rivets that are uh, screwed on. Every rivet is uh, secured with Loctite, so they don't get loose, never. And um, we have here also a lining material, so this is uh, gold leather one millimeter in red and uh, yeah so this is quite a lot of material going in here for the belt it's um, the same leather treated the same way and um, there is only manual sewing here for the quiver for this uh, bow quiver the um, top surface was a bit tricky so you may imagine that you cannot shape a U and form it that way as well so that does not work really so I had found another way um, and as you can see the result is quite nice so this is how it's looking like and uh, this one um, you can uh, put something through, like another belt or something, uh, and attach it to the leg or whatever you would like. It's just a feature that is provided and you can use it or not. So now you want to know if um, the bow fits in. Yes. So the task was uh, that the griffin and the rider fit. So you know, no rider there. And I thought, okay, the griffin, no problem. This is looking nice. And if you hang it, yeah, you need to have a certain length that the bow does not touch the ground. Then Rob has not only the griffin and the rider, he has also the khan. The khan is wider than the griffin, so the limbs are wider. And so no problem either. The only thing uh, you need to take care of that uh, both who have um, a Zia pointing forward can hook here. So if you just put it out, make sure it slides below. So this is this one. But uh, yeah, we all know this is a Turkish griller, so a Turkish bow needs to fit there too. Um, this is the largest Turkish quiver I have, uh, bow I have. Turkish bow needs to fit in this quiver. So. Fits. Here as well. You need to take care that it doesn't hook. And we know the most outstanding shape I have here in my bows is the Tata shape because of its limbs. Yeah, it's not pointing that much here in the handle direction, but here. So one quiver fits all. Yeah, so it's really easy. And here you see this is the hooking topic. Then uh, never get it out again. You just need to make sure that it overcomes here and then it's easy. And um, 
if it's on the uh, on the side, you press here, and then you can um, give the bow a, a better direction. One-handed, it's uh, a bit difficult, but usually you grab the quiver here, hold it, and then you pull out. So it's no need to to take it that way. Just hold it there, and then get it out. Yeah. I'm really happy with the result and um, what I can tell you is um, especially for this fixing for, for this top uh, area here um, I didn't plan to make this quiver uh, yeah this bow quiver when I created the Turkish quiver here yeah? and uh, I had created here this design just because I thought it would look good. And it turned out that exactly these distances here can be used for the hidden fixing of the top surface. And I think you do not see it here, but uh, maybe you can see it from back, the second line here. That's the fixing line for the top area. Okay. Yeah, gold leather here as well in red. And uh, since um, this takes quite some material, this is one skin and this is another skin, uh, I can tell you a bit about materials used. Okay, we have material for the quiver and the belt of around um, 140 euros. So this is only the material, no working hours. And uh, for the bow quiver, it's around 100 euros. So not much of a difference because it's large. Yeah. You see it in size, it's similar. Uh, working hours for the quiver, for this one, was around 43 hours. For the belt, around 12 hours, and uh, for the bow quiver, it was around, uh, where did I note it down, mm, 48, if not mistaken, 48 hours. So it was uh, quite a huge project, it was a ton of fun, yeah, really, and uh, creating this, and uh, especially when this top worked, yeah, that was pretty cool, I can tell you. <laughs> so I'm uh, proud of the set and I hope that Rob has lots of fun and um, the use is uh, yeah, enjoyable. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the rider. And for all those who think, oh, phew, I would like to have something like this as well, um, I'm now open for commissions and um, yeah, I think I can do it now. And um, just in case you want something, just contact me. Um, the email is uh, at the uh, Google. It's a, it's a Google mail. Yeah, you find it. Okay. Yeah. That's all for today. And um, yeah, wish you all a great start into the weekend. It's coming soon. Thank you.